Today's workout is an interval workout. We will work in intervals of 45 seconds with 15 seconds rest. We will have four exercises all using torsion bar covering your whole body and we'll go through them three times, which is 12 minutes of hard work. But before we get started, we'll just do a little warm up to make sure we are ready for the exercise and preventing any injuries. So just a few simple exercises to start with to warm up. Exercise number one, lie down on your back, single leg embraces, 10 on each side. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Turn around to the knees. Ten push ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Jump up. Ten squats. Make sure you feel your glutes, squeeze them on the way up, but don't push your hips forward like this. Back your hips under, keep them behind you. Five, you need to feel it in your glutes and hamstrings more than in your quads. Great. Now, feet slightly apart, bend over, and imagine you're doing bent over row. Just squeeze your shoulder blades and then let them separate. Three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Okay, one more time. Ten squats. Oh no, ten single leg like braces. Sorry, I'm very much ahead. Ten single leg like braces. Push into your heels, squeeze your glute, you need to feel your glute and hamstring engaging. We will need it for the squats and lunges that are coming up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Turn around on your knees or you can progress onto your toes. If you have the strength, I still my knees. Ten, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jump up. I love it and it's very easy to carry around but you can also use any kind of bar you find at the gym you can also use two dumbbells and if you're injured and you just want to take it really easy you can also use a wooden stick yeah so any kind of weight or stick will do so now we will practice the four exercises before I actually start the timer exercise number one hold the bar at the front 
you know, squat down. As you come up, you press above your head. When you go down, bring it on your back. Up, above your head, and down. Yeah, make sure you can push your hips forward. As we practiced before, your glutes are on, but the hips are still behind you, so your back is nice and straight. Bit of exercise number one. Exercise number two, we also practice. Back over row. Tummy in, back straight, everything on your back in line. Bring the bar to your belly button, squeeze your shoulder blades, slow release. And that's it, just that. Exercise number three, unilateral. Great for runners and great to even up and imbalance. We'll do split squat. So some people call it lunge, I call it split squat. We'll go down with the bar on the shoulder, come up and press. Down, come up and press. This is what it looks like in the front. For this one, we will do 22 seconds or 20 seconds on each side. So both sides we can do 45 seconds in the row. Last one, lie down on your back, hold the bar on your chest, feet wide, sit up, and push your chest between your hands your arms come down push up okay so these are our four exercises 45 seconds on 15 seconds rest three times and then we're done i will have to set it up on my watch okay ready steady and go so start at the front squat Press, squat, press. Generate the power in your glutes and hamstrings. Push into your heel and throw the weight up above your head. We're doing it both ways to move the muscles in a different way, but also to stretch your chest. So when you put the bar behind your back, that stretches your chest and throws your shoulders. And that's it, 15 seconds rest. Next one, we're going to bend over the row. I'll show you from the side. So you just hinge from your hips as if you want to be deadly. Have the bar at your knees. We just double it in the rest and straight and go. 45 seconds. Breathe in as you lower. Breathe out as you lift. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Keep your neck nice and long. See you on right. Almost there. Should be bending behind your shoulder blades right now. Done. 15 seconds rest. Put the bar on your shoulder. We're doing split squat to press. Make sure you're not standing on a rope. Stand on the train tracks. Feet separate. About one or two feet separate. More separation means more stability. So if you put your feet one behind the other, you're likely to lose your balance. Push into the heel of your front leg and squeeze your glute. Generate the power in your glutes, hamstrings and core to come up. One more and switch. That's it. So we're working here functionally, working your right glute at the moment. Or I'm working my right glute with your left. And then your lats and shoulders on the opposite side. And needs to be bending in your glute. Make sure your knees don't buckle in like this. Keep them above your ankle done. Last exercise for the round. It's going to be very quick, isn't it? Okay. Sit up. Right to the feet. And go. Sit up. Push your head and chest between your arms. If this is too much and you can't do it because of your lower back or neck pain, just hold the weight and do crunch. Or you can pick your legs up 
and do little pulses or you can drop the weight and do crunch this way or you can do crunch that way or if you can't crunch because of your neck pain you can do down and just do like lowers instead so any crunching variation will do I love my sit-ups with the torsion bar very effective Round one done. Let's get on to the round two. <laughs> I'm to make myself look nice for you guys. And let's do it. Spot. Okay. Push through your heels. Squeeze your glutes. Throw the bar above your head. You can make it really hard by picking heavy torsion bar. You can make it easy by doing this with a broomstick. You choose. When you go down, breathe in, then come up and press. Breathe into your nose, out through your mouth. Down. Bend over oh, I love it. So easy with the torsion bar. All you need is one bar and the whole is done. Mm. Let's do it. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Pull up fast, lower slow. That's where we gain the most strength the east, in the eccentric phase, which is the lowering phase. So we go one, pause, one, two, three, four. One, pause, one, two, three, four. This is great tempo for building our muscle strength and volume. Speaking of muscles, pretty much. Don't say, keep breathing. Keep your tummy in while breathing through your chest and an um, arm diaphragm. So this needs to be expanding, this needs to be sucked in a little bit. And go. Power up through your glutes and hands. If you're losing the balance, you can put your arm on the side or on your waist, on okay. here. Make sure your posture is nice and you're slouching, keep looking ahead. Time to switch. Big deep breath. Squeeze that pull on the front leg. Done. Sit up. And rest. You deserve it. 15 seconds. Do it very quick. Go. Breathe in. Breathe out. In as you lower. Out as you exert the force. focus on the working muscles and on your breathing so I don't want you to think about what you're going to do after this workout concentrate on the muscle that you're working it's going to give you better benefit and create a new neural pathway between your brain 
and the working muscle, which is healthy for your brain, helps better movement patterns and helps your muscle building. So 100% concentration here on your glutes, hamstrings, core, breathing. Done, okay. Next exercise, we are concentrating on your lats. So the muscles behind your shoulder blades. Squeeze them, make them burn. Big deep breaths, let's do it. Breath over, back nice and straight. Breathe in as you lower, out as you pull. Squeeze those shoulder blades, shoulder blades. Emphasize the squeeze. Think about those muscles engaging. Visualize them engaging and make them burn. Squeeze them consciously in this space. When you pull up, hold and squeeze. Slowly down, pull up, hold and squeeze. It will work so much better. You need to have a nice and controlled movement, thinking about it the whole time. I'm getting very serious, am I? It is serious, it's fun, it's fun but seriously. <laughs> And go. Almost there. Last few reps for the day. Done. Okay, stay on the ground. I just turn off my timer. Great. Bring your knees to your chest. We'll just do a little stretch just because it feels good and to pull down a little bit. Bring your knee to the outside of your shoulder and push it down. And then bring it across and move the other way. And push the knee down. And sweet sides. Right knee into your right armpit. Push it down. And across. Nice, roll over your stomach, child's pose. And you can move to our side. Move your hands to the other side. And into the middle, come up to high cobra. Move your hips from side to side, push them to the ground, stretching your hip flexors and your abs, which feels really good. Sit on your heels, stretch your 
stretch to one side and to the other side. Push away. Up and that's it. All down. See you next time.